Greetings, Elda. How are you? Greetings. I give thanks and um, I'm very good. I give thank thanks you. for life. Yes. yes, thank you for joining us today. Uh, for those who are watching today, I'm in conversation with Russ Trevor Hall, aka Russ Jabulani. So we he has a show this camp this upcoming Sunday on the 14th of August at Royal Rust Centre in Cape Town. So if you are on Cape Town, get yourself there. Don't miss the vibes. But also before we get to that, you know, we're gonna chat more about his life, try to get to know the elder better. For those who don't know who he is, he's been in the industry for more than 40 years or going to 40 years, Elder, if I'm not mistaken. Well, it's actually more than 50 years. More than 50, wow. <laughs> I started playing drums when I was three, so you know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 50 years, yeah. so so how has the journey been? 50 years, that's a long time. Some of us, you know, we're not even born yet when we started this. <laughs> well, it, it's been a real journey. It's been, um, to some people, yes, it, it's a journey of adventure mm. um, to ones and ones within my liberty and thing it's been that i've been called pioneer i've been called you know various things to um take me through this journey yeah um, but then again the journey started before me if you if you know what i'm saying yeah because um in uh african of the diaspora, uh, 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 African descendant, born in the diaspora, um, returning home to Africa, and still basically uh, being part of both worlds, trying to mold yeah. and build the, if you know yeah. what I'm saying, yeah. being part of that more for humankind, you know what I'm saying? Uh, so for me, yes, it's, a, it's an incredible journey still because for what I feel I have seen, ex, experienced, um, been exposed to, um, you know, the the goods and the bads, the sweet and the bitter, you yeah, know? It's, yeah. It's been a journey, it's and been a journey. I don't think I would, I would have had a better one. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, 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 yeah, and you saying that, what are you grateful for in all the 50 years that you have been in the industry? I know there's a lot, but what are you most grateful for? I think the most grateful part of it is achieving repatriation as what I would say, um, not to the fullness yeah. of what we were out, outwardly looking for, because I had to actually migrate myself home, right? Mm. Um, the, the fullness of repatriation is still to be, when we talk government to government, and it's still very hard for us uh, in the, what I'd rather say, in the living spora, because mm. we are living, we are not dead, yes. we're not dying. Yeah. You know? and to be accepted for the first thing, even by laws and, and so forth, although um, OAU accept us as uh, the sixth region, but still within the laws and constitutions on the continent, we are not even accepted yet as African or, you know, as indigenous people, right? Mm -hmm. uh, UN would want to have you have to go through DNA tests and all these things yeah. and really, you know what I'm saying, to even claim your full heritage. Mm -hmm. uh, this is why enough of them kind of afraid 
to pay the kind of reparations that is really required. So you see, um, the, the, the journey will continue even for my children and children's children that, have mm. born, that are actually born here at home on the continent, mm. you know? Yeah, and talking so about that... For I, mm. the greatest thing is return. Yes, mm. and, and talking about that, uh, I know you, you do a lot of uh, humanitarian work, you know, you are a philanthropist, for those who don't know, and how has that... Um, inspired you when it comes to also your music? Well, with the music in itself, as my elders did encourage us to use the music as a vehicle, mm. now vehicle in various ways, you can steer a vehicle, uh, given the message, being part of uh, and parcel of the tool that helps to bring us together for social cohesion, yeah. for interaction, for being an activist at the same time, being being you know a philanthropist, you yeah. know as you say because what what I do is not always to take cash out of my pocket, mm. but what it, the, the work that I will do will be valued within that manner by doing a free show or helping to make something happen mm. for a community. Mm. So, you know, music helped to shape that, music helped to, to carry me as a vehicle home with that consciousness, yeah. you know, to do good and to live good amongst the people. Mm. Yeah, also, yeah. you know, I like yes. uh, the word music activist. You know, the music has changed so much right now. You have dancehall, people who say, oh, no, dancehall mm -hmm. is spreading this kind of messages, you know. So what do you think about the music evolution? Because you, ha you have like 50 years of experience. You've sort of like seen it all, you know, for lack of a better word. <laughs> yeah. Let's put it this way. The actual term dance uh, come from the when when reggae music started in actual fact, mm. it was basically outlawed, right? Because it became the music that took a shape of expression, free expression, right? So the music was actually banned in Jamaica and banned even, even in England and so forth. It was very hard because at the time in the late 60s, England and America was still under what we would say serious apartheid, mm. right? Uh, well, that is where the real architecture and study and, and really the, 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 the structuring of apartheid and keeping people apart mm. and really coming with England, America. And that kind of liberty where the music now took a shape, where coming from Skia Rocksteady, and then now it became a music where it had a, a serious feeling because we were in that mode of what ones would say, um, like um, six years after independence, well, four years, six years after independence in Jamaica, or what we'd rather say, interdependence. Yeah. Right? Um, because the music was now a, a type of music that had. Well, like I said, a feeling of Africa with the rutical zombie drum and bass. And then when the Rastafari elders now give the encouragement to say, use it as a vehicle to give mm. the, the message of Rastafari, the message of liberation, truth and rights and so forth. It created now something where Whilst we were there able to start to learn who we are, whilst it spread around the world, it, it also 
encourage people of all race, all nation, to start to know themselves, mm. start to get into a one love mm. vibe. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Because majority of people are oppressed, you see, worldwide. Mm. So that is one reason why it would appeal, you know, um, globally to to ones as, as reggae. Yeah. It was banned because now the lyrical content where it comes to roots reggae mm. was given too much message, right? Of liberation, emancipation, emancipation yes, right? Yeah. Um, so it was banned. The only place we could get now to get people to come listen and hear because not everyone could afford to have a, 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 a grab, what you used to call a gram, a record player and so forth and, and thing, right? And get to listen to the record because it was on, we pressed on vinyl, yeah. right? Wasn't allowed to be played on radio and thing. I even get a, a, a little video up on TV at that time because I was 68, right? Mm -hmm. Now, the dance hall came where we had to be hiring the community halls using the sound system, the community halls, even the church halls. Mm. We used then the sound system first, those from the studio and thing. And when they press the record, they had to press a version, right? Which come now to be known as the dub version, instrumental yeah. version. And the dub instrumental version, because the artist could not afford to have a band. It was, it was only a few ones who could have band at that time, yeah. right? And to promote yourself you, in the dance, it was now on sound system. And that's where even the, the DJ had to now start to ride upon the rhythm, mm. right? And become lyrical strain on that. The singer would also be, be singing. Uh, their, their song, which would be on the B, on the A side, and on the B side, which was the version, that's it. And the, that is where the term dance hall so actually Yeah. Right? And you see, carrying it through to now, dance hall become an industry. Mm. And that's what really dance hall is all about. Is mm. is not too much again the lyrics because when we look at uh, yes, ones will be looking at um why dance hall is the way it is, is mm. because it serves both the formal um, and informal and the industry, yeah. Yeah. industry mm. within the community. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So through the formal, there will be censoring, where mm, ones will be mm. getting paid in that level. Mm. Through the informal, again, remember the nightclubs, the, the bars, and so forth, mm. what it would be encouraging in the alcohol, yeah. the sex, and all these things. So it will get also painted by that brush. Mm, you see mm, what I'm saying? Mm. But so, you will find that the roots music and even gospel reggae, yeah. <laughs> right, don't really play in yes. those places. Monetary because story. monetary wise, it doesn't pull in the crowd because people want to be dancing and having alcohol and, you know, <laughs> gyrating and, <laughs> and all of that. And that's why you see, yeah, and that's yeah. why you see reggae encompassing community feelings and so forth. It, it genre, it reaches out to all kind of people. Mm. Lyrically, I love a rock, lovers rock, and those for the gangster youth them, mm. you know, it will be there, you know, yeah. for, for the, the, the gospel Christian youth, Just, yeah, it is there. It is there, yeah. yeah. So back to you, um, Elder. 
what keeps you going? You know, I think after 50 years, I've, I've been only working for my nine to five, probably for 10, 12 years, I'm a, and I'm already tired. So <laughs> what keeps you going? What makes you wake up every day and say, I want to do this? Well, life in itself. Life is so beautiful, diverse. It, it is. And when you get that chance to travel Ooh. and mix and mingle with people. And you see, and you have, it, it depends on your personal conviction, yeah. your personal constitution, what you have taken on in life. What mm. purpose do you see that you can serve within life? As a Rasta man, first thing, you 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 are seen straight away as a rebel to society. So therefore, um, you have to learn then to be self-reliant, mm -hmm. and you have to be able to 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 um make life out of what is handed to you. Mm -hmm. This is what I'm saying. Thank now you. that is that is the kind of beauty where because when we talk the liberty of Rastafari. Ones would say, you, you're living through the struggle, you have to struggle and thing. But you see, no, you don't struggle to end life. You struggle to make life better, better. right? Yeah. And like I said, my tribe to reach home, because to tell you the truth, I've lived on the continent longer than and I've home. lived outside of the continent. Yeah. Because... I came here as a youth still. I was only 24 when I set foot on mm. the continent. And now mm. I've, I've been here for 40 years. Yeah. You see. Mm. <laughs> so and, now, and... you see, I'm, I'm 40 years mm. old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on the continent. On the continent. Yes. Yeah. And are you planning to retire anytime soon? Well, in music, and the arts, there's no real retirement mm. um, because, and, uh, and as Rastafari, it's part of our liberty. So retirement is not say I will stop playing music. I will always be helping to encourage the youth in some way, doing music to may you know maintain because. Music become like the essence of life. I don't think I would stop. Yeah, you know. Yeah, you're um, still planning to release more albums. <laughs> yeah, maybe yes, I would be more stable because again, one of the the traits uh, or, or my my inheritance then mm. is. I'm a griot, and a griot is like um, a nomadic um, yeah. a, a custodian of culture and, and so forth. And, and so, so it's within my blood to continue. But yes, I'm a little bit stable in a little bit because yeah. I, I do a little bit of farming right now, and you know, and again trying to encourage even the youths them that the land is very important for mm. food preservation and, and it's preservation of life. Yeah. You see, I, once one really realized that all this, what we're going through is really about land and the wealth that the land mm. yields, all the suffering, especially Black Africa is going through and Black Africans all around, the world being denied yeah. access to, to, land to land is because you know this mm. is and this is where now just to strengthen ourselves we must look at the real value of where we are and mm. mother africa is still the food basket yeah in every way not just food but also minerals also you know Mm. And you see, this is why the scramble is like this, and the consciousness is to get us out of where, where yeah. <laughs> those who, <laughs> who are coming and make a better life for themselves. Mm. So, yes, 
you know. Bless. I, I, I don't see retirement. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. I would say just uh, ease down a little. Yeah. Um, I know you've worked with um mm -hmm. a lot of artists, you know, both young and old, and and the youth also with your humanitarian mm -hmm. works. Um, what would you say it's the one thing, you know, that the youth are missing in terms of reggae music, in terms of the industry as a whole? What is it that they're not getting that maybe you can, you know, give advice from? Well, you see, we're in a, we're in a stage now, another dimension I, I, um, of liberty. Right. Um, this kind of dispensation, um, cause when we find that um, colonization is something that wasn't planned just to, for a short space of life, it was planned for the extent of mm. liberty for those that forced the colonization. Mm. Right. Now, we we're in a stage where one feel that they were born free. Now being born free and the, the um consciousness of free, it, you have a lot of youths feeling that you know everything must be given to them. Right? Technology is now making it easy for the youth not to even have any real vision that they have to do anything really in life again, because the, everything is at their hands. The, the mark of the beast, the cell phone is right in the palm of their hands. Everything yeah. now is their life there. You can do your hustling now on the cell phone. Oh, yes. you, you can do your online business and mm. rare, you know what I'm saying? So it, life now is no more that outward adventure for a lot of youths now, even a baby yeah. would now be fighting you for the phone. Tell you. Right? Because <laughs> it's captivated them. Yeah. So we have to be very mindful and careful about the way how we are allowing these technology to take over our life. Right? Mm. Uh, Enough ones because we're living in urban um, situation where uh, if you don't have a job, right, and you can't do something for yourself, which is you know lucrative and can bring in that money for you to live on yourself, let mm -hmm. alone to build a family and so forth, right, then. Only alternative, you're going to be lured into crime to survive, right? So getting a consciousness that can keep you under that level where you can find purpose in life that will continue life is what I would encourage. Purpose in life that doesn't continue life and when you can glorify death mm. by even taking a life, mm. right? If you want to show that yeah, you, you're going to be a soldier, even mm. a police now, right? Is glorifying in that death because it's becoming a thing where, you know, under orders, you will, you will have to make that decision to take mm. even your own brother's life, you see? So if we can get ones to see the true purpose of living life, whether you have, you have the riches or you can have just a simple liberty, I tell mm. you, simple liberty is the best and healthiest liberty. You yes, know, you can have. bless. I know you, we can chat the whole day, you know, about the music, about mm. your journey. <laughs> you mm. know, uh, we can listen to mm. your advices mm. the whole day. But what got us here, mm. it's the, the show on, on Sunday, on the 14th of August at the Royal Ross Center. I know it's not and the Sunday. first time. Uh, yes, yeah, it's not the first time mm. you're performing at the mm. center, right? 
No, well, you see, the center is like um, an extension of the consciousness that I mm. and I bring forward. And this is why from day one, yeah. I've been in support of the center. Mm. Yes, I, I will travel and come in and out. But you see, we, when it comes to dynamite, mm. uh, Congo Jesse, all the all the, the, the crew that the is crew, working yes. here, keeping yeah. up a set in the community. Um, it doesn't just serve the Rastafari. It serves a much broader and wider community. And whilst the center can um, be a way to keep some of the youths out of the wickedness and badness off the street, give them a uh, uh, you know, focus so that they can see a better future, then, you know, these are the things that I and I support. Yeah, to the uh, uh, yeah thank right. you. Uh, and you're featuring the, the One Drop Band. Yes, the One Drop Band and my brethren, um, Dr. Dredd. Yes, you know, yes. One of the brethren that, you know, come up with Crucial Mix and is always been a very creative and, you know, mm -hmm. forward thinking musician and producer. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I really have enough respect for Dr. Dredd also, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, and, and I know you were supposed to join us, and... yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were supposed mm -hmm. to join us, but hopefully he'll, you know, he'll get in touch and we can have a conversation with him also. Yes. Yeah. There's still, you know, his spirit is there. Yes. And we shall be together. Yes. Um, we have for all ones and ones, yes. Yes. Come so, forward Sunday because Yeah. And, and what can fire. they what can they look forward to? Do you still have the moons on stage? <laughs> yeah, I still have the moons. <laughs> I, I still have set. a little bit slower than you know, yeah. But, um, yeah um, I'm going to run through from some of the world to some of the new and songs them, um, some of the world songs them um, that I did from the, the early days that, I, that I've been here. And some of the new, I will touch some Dennis Brown, some Bob Marley, you know, some of that, mm -hmm. you know, um, just because all these songs as well for encouragement and, and thing. Yeah, we're going to a little special lovers rock section, especially for the the, the women because women's yeah. month and, and yes, we yes. truly encourage, you know, our women to be, you know, stronger and thing because they take a lot of, uh, of pain and, and, and suffering during this struggle. That you say, and you know, for them to uphold and still bring forth the, the new generations, we have to really give strength to them. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, you know, so it's as it's gonna be for them. So, you know, for each and every one, there will be a little bit for you. You know, yes. so that's come full joy. Yes, and yes. You know, like I said, fire for the wicked them, uh, uh, and all sweetness uh, uh, and love. For the righteous. Yes. Be before I let you go, I, I just I just want to know what what kind of music do you listen to besides reggae music? Well, I love I love Afro jazz. I do listen to uh, hip hop, R and B as well because I I do up courage. I play. I uh, even. African tradition as well, you know. Being a percussionist, yes. and I still like traveling and thing with that, and sometimes jam with that artists and musicians that will be playing. Mm -hmm. I love music. Even sometimes I would listen to a little classic, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. um, arc orchestra, and thing, because there's. Um, feeling and a lot of things that you know you get from music. Yeah, there's some um, even certain um 
music from different nations, I think, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I would listen to it because traveling, yeah, so the music reflects a lot of the feeling of the people that it's coming from. And if you can get those feelings, then, you know, you can fit in a way. And like yeah. we said, we jam, you know, yeah. we jam and we come together and, and harmonize together, you know? Yeah. So, you know, I, I don't really have too much partial against other music. I mm. love reggae oh. music. I love, I, I love, you know, all, all roots music and, and things, mm. even gospel, because, you know, um, I started playing drums in church and, you know, yes. drums to me is the foundation of all music. So, mm. you see, um, when it comes to um, righteous songs, I'm there. Yes. yes sir. Oh, before, before I forget, mm. you know, the South African music awards are coming up right now. Um, you have Raskanli on, mm. you know, um, Rain Africa, Skeleton Blazer, um, who mm. else, Botanist. Uh, who do you think is going to take it for best reggae album? <laughs> Mind you, Rain Africa yeah. is the only female on the, on the nomination list. <laughs> And I, I love I love Queen um, Rain Africa. Yeah. Um, her presence in music is very very unique in certain ways too. She reminds me of not just a one artist, but various other artists. Mm. And she's captivated a certain feeling that I, I like. Doesn't matter whether they win an award or not. Mm. People should just listen to the music for the music and get the lyrics for the lyrics. Skeleton Blazer has a style also, mm. even though you can touch it with other ones and one style. But again, it, it is what is appealing and captivates a lot of the youth. Mm. But it's a botanist that is a serious artist too, that um, really I know can really forget the right producers and thing, mm. can really go far on the international market mm. also. So with, you know, with what is coming out here in South Africa, Africa yeah. we have, we have um, a, a variety, right? And we have what can appeal to all different ones and ones out there as much as locally, mm. you know? Mm. So, you know, I don't want to talk about who is going to win. As yeah. far as I'm concerned, even to be chosen there, they are all winners. They are all winners, right? yes. The main thing is people must just take their music for mm. what it is, you know? I would never really, I don't really like to judge a next man and their music against them because each one have their own feeling and uniqueness. Their songs, their lyrics will tell you that, yes. right? And so, you know, yeah. I Thank just you. pray that, you yeah. know, they take it. Yeah. Win or lose, they are winners. Yes. You know? Thank you. Thank you so much, Elder, for making time uh, to speaking to us. I hope you have a great show on Sunday, 14th of August at the Royal Rust Center. Hopefully, I hope the masses will come through, you know, see you in action. And hopefully we'll <laughs> speak again soon. You know, there's, there's a lot more that I think people can learn from you. You know, the artist can learn from the elder. So hopefully next time we'll have a, you know, a longer chat. Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Sir. yes. Well, Anything? I would look forward to that. Yes. Anything you want to add uh, before I let you go? Well, not, not much. Just come forward and, you know, all I can say, even for those who, who can't come forward, you know, it's just peace, love, and one unity yes. that we want in this time. Yes. And and where do people find you on the right? Um. Well, uh, there is a Facebook page, yes. 
Uh, I'm there. I'm, I've got something on Spotify, iTunes, and there, there is certain things they can search for Ras Jabalani or Trevor Hall. There is a couple of other Trevor Hall as well. Yes, but yes, I, I realized that. <laughs> I have my own brand. You know? yeah. <laughs> right. I'm sure they won't <laughs> miss you. Yeah. 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 So, you know? yeah. So give thanks for the support and, and pray that you know we can always continue rising higher and higher. So blessed love, my sister, my soul sister. Blessed love, Jack blessings, protection. blessings. Jack. Thank you so much. I, so, uh, thank you everyone for tuning in. That is Russ Trevor Hall, aka Russ Jabulani, on Sunday, 14th of August. He's at the Royal Russ Center in Cape Town, Athlone. Um, six turns get you in. The show starts at 2 p.m. till 8. Thank you for tuning in. Next time, blessings, fun blessings. Rastafari. Rastafari. Bless you.